a good team. You know, I think overall they've kind of shown it this year that they're, they're a good team. Uh, uh, it'll be, you know, in a really, really tough, uh, tough road game again for us. A tough environment. Probably going to be sold out July 4th, you know. All those things that will they'll, they'll get thrown at us and uh, left be ready. A lot of guys are talking about how uh, Mikey is a good guy in the locker room. I'm curious, can you give any examples of what oh, makes him a good guy in the locker he's room? He's a great guy. Like, as you saw, I was walking in today, for example, he, uh, just because I wanted to leave my car at home, he picked me up and drove me up here. You know? Oh, okay. Things like that. You know? That's just a little example, but no, but Mikey's a great guy. He's so much for the team. Uh, and, and it's, it's, yeah, it's just, just a good guy to be around and a good friend. And what's making him, I mean, he looks like he's growing in confidence on the field as well with every start. Is that accurate? Yeah, I think I think that's normal. I think for every player that, that plays more and that performs like he does, you know, I think he'll, he'll get more confident and more sure in his, the things he does on the field. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I think it's normal. And, uh, yeah, I, mean, I, had, I had no doubt that he was going to come in and perform like he does. Two road games in I think the span of four days. How do you guys just prepare for that mentally and physically? Physically, it's a lot of rest uh, and, and trying to obviously recover from the last game and just get ready for a midweek game, and then we'll kind of see Philadelphia from there. But mentally, it's, you just have to be ready. You know, you have to you have to know what's coming. You have to know that you're going to be in a hotel for a whole week. You have to know that you're going to have a couple flights, and that it's going to be some tough environments because everybody wants to beat us, um, and. That's just because we are where we are and we are who we are. Um, and yeah, so we just have to be ready. You mentioned playing 4th of July. Have you ever played on holidays? Is that at a, the 4th of July Memorial Days, Independence Days, things like that, where they're here in Germany? Does that add just extra atmosphere or intensity to these contests? Uh, did we play 4th of July last year? Yeah. 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 Um, but I mean, I don't really, I haven't really noticed. I haven't really played in too many of those where it, it makes too big of a difference for me, I think. Um, but yeah, it'll be it'll be special. I'm, I'm sure that's probably one uh, one of the few games they sell out this year. Uh, but from what Mikey has said to me, uh, and he's obviously from there, so um, he knows more than I do. But uh, yeah, like I said, it'll be a tough environment. You know, a tough tough test uh, in the heat, uh, even at night. You know, it'll be 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 everything that, that yeah, everything that would be really really tough. Has just kind of been in limbo with possibly being transferred out of Dallas in the last week or so. Does it change the way you guys watch film or prepare if somebody's kind of the, the focal point of their offense and they're not be there? Um, I think he wasn't in the 18 last game, right? So uh, I don't know if he's going to play or not. You know, that's, that's uh, it's, I'm sure we'll hear more about it today. And, and Tata kind of gives a little briefing about them more and we're going into a little bit more detail of training. But uh, um, we'll prepare, I think, both ways. Uh, you know, because if we, if we, we can't really be sure if he's not playing or not playing. So we really have to prepare for both. And, and he's a good player, you know, and uh, we have to be ready if he plays. So a lot of teams say in other sports that they're going to know they're going to get the team's best shot when they're at the top of their standings. Do you guys feel like you get that now, kind of where you're at in the standings and just where you guys are in the league that each game you're going to get the team's best? Oh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, I think we've, we felt that this year that everybody gives not just 100%, but even more every single time they play us, you know, because especially coming into our home, I think they want to beat us here. But then obviously when we go on the road, they maybe feel like, oh yeah, we're at home, you know, we can beat the best team in the league here. So they're going to go get after us and, and we have to, that's why I said, we have to be prepared every single time because we're going to face the best out of the players that we face every single time. The fact that Dallas isn't considered a, national, a normal <coughs> soccer market kind of like Atlanta, is that kind of, for someone like yourself, to see different cities around the country kind of expand the soccer program. Do you enjoy seeing that? Yeah, I enjoy seeing a lot of cities. I like to travel and I like to just, uh, yeah, even go out and uh, and uh, enjoy the cities and, and, and kind of see the the, part, the things apart from soccer as well. Um, I think it's another opportunity for me to see another city, which is really cool. Um, but obviously, my focus will still be on the game, you know, I think everything aside. Um, yeah, you go for a walk 10 minutes and then that's it, you know. Like, Kind of focus on the games. One of the talking points from yesterday's World Cup games was uh, diving and Neymar specifically. What do you think about players who kind of have reputations as divers? Um, I don't really know what I think. Of, like, <laughs> I don't really haven't really thought about it too much. I just watch it as well. And yeah, I get in some situations. I think he's trying to protect himself, which is which is okay. Because I, I think sometimes he would get fouled pretty hard if he doesn't like dive here or there. 
Um, but then other times I also feel like, ah, come on, you know, you really have to do that. But uh, yeah, I mean, every player is different, and, 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 and uh, if he feels like he needs to do it, then he needs to do it. You ever take it out? Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> And, you know, just as a defender, if you know the guy's likely going to dive anyway, you just go ahead and get your money's worth out of the foul? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you try and make it, I, at first you try and obviously steal the ball without fouling him, and if he still decides to dive, and I hope you, you just hope that the referee kind of kind of knows it's coming a bit, and that, that, you know, he has a bit of, bit of feel for it. Um, but, I mean, at the end of the day, sometimes you get frustrated as well, and then you kind of give him the back, you know, so. Right. <laughs> But this was one of the, the reason why it was brought up yesterday is, is to first time soccer fans watching yesterday's Brazil game, for example, and seeing Neymar rolling around like a tumbleweed, yeah. it's kind of a turn off of the sport. Is it do you think that it, it can be bad for the sport to see some guys embellish things like that? Well I think you have it in every sport, not mm -hmm. just not just in soccer. Mm -hmm. I mean and it's not like everybody's doing it all the time. You know, it's it's two or three guys here, you know, one, two guys there, it's, it's it's not like it happens a lot, I think. Um, like, I, don't know, I haven't really had a guy in the last that's really just been, hmm. like, diving around, you know, that, that just looks for fouls, basically. Um, so it's not, I don't think it, it hurts the sport in that sense. I think if they watch more soccer, then they'll get, they'll, they'll get a different experience. Okay. We've talked to you about your versatility before on the field. At what point, and you take it all in stride, at what point in your career, whether professional or collegiate, did you just say, like, okay, I can, I can play wherever the coach needs me to play? whenever the coach told me to be somewhere else. <laughs> it wasn't just my decision to be like, oh yeah, I could be a center mid or a right wing or whatever. Um, it's more been like coaches approaching me and being like, do you think we can try you out there? You know, things like that. And uh, I was like, yeah, and, like, I was just open-minded. Mm -hmm. I think that was the big thing for me, just to be open-minded and, and not really having this, this thought in my head of, oh no, I can only really play there, you know. And so that's just how it came along. Where was that happening most often, do you think? Uh, well, it started in Germany when I still played before college, where I came in as a, as a right mid, and uh, I started playing, then my right back got hurt, so I started playing right back, then my left back got hurt, so I started playing left back, so, you know, all those kind of kind of things where you just, just things happen during a season where guys get hurt, and the coaches kind of have different ideas, and, and that just uh, kind of came along then, and then I got recruited to college where I played right mid, they recruited me as a right midfield at the start, and told me that, and, then I played center mid, and then I played center forward, so it's just like, it just kind of kind of happened. Yeah. Have you ever played goalie? Jeff mentioned he thinks she could probably <laughs> succeed as a goalie too. Uh, You're tall. In the, in the fun game on Friday, so okay. before the game, sometimes. Uh, for Mario is not in goal, or Chris McCain is not in goal, sometimes I'm in there. But that definitely needs the most work, I think. You could extend your career for how to play. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that probably won't happen. All right. All right. Thanks, guys.